Now, curtains are falling on the half-year earnings for 2022 with banking sector earnings revealing that Kenyan banks are still having a tough go in the Tanzanian market. Just a week after, Equity Group revealed that its Tanzania subsidiary is struggling with a surge in bad debt. NCBA Group now says it is planning to scale down on the branch network and laying off at least 100 staff owing to surging business performance. NCBA Group further indicated case that it will inject at least 1 billion shillings into the struggling subsidiary, a move aimed at propping its capital position. Brian George now paints a picture of the latest numbers from the banking sector. On the 23rd of August, Kenya's biggest bank, Equity Group, reported that its Tanzania subsidiary was struggling with a rising pile of bad debt. Equity Tanzania's non-performing loan book closed the period ended June 2022 at 23.8 percent pointing at a stark misalignment with the overall group position of just 8.5 percent a week later ncba group has also indicated navigating mounting headwinds in its tanzania operations ncba group now says it looks to trim its operational costs in the tanzania market as a means to find a more sound footing for the struggling subsidiary Last year, we made significant loss in Tanzania. And what we've done is then look at Tanzania very specifically and say, what is wrong with our business? Yeah, And to say that it's become rather unpredictable in the past, where one month you'd have very good profit, another month uh, you'd have a loss. So the focus we have made this year is to say, how do we make this entity, which is our largest subsidiary out of, outside of Kenya, sustainably profitable? as opposed to short-term profitable. So the work that we're doing in Tanzania is a number of levels. One is changing the business model, first of all. Our business model, we have established that retail banking is not our strength in Tanzania. And for that reason, we are focusing more towards what we call corporates, as well as the ecosystems of corporate. So in the retail banking that we do will be for the ecosystem of our corporate customers. NCBA consummated the consolidation of NIC and CBA Tanzania business units two years ago, but believes the synergies of the two ventures are yet to be unlocked as a result of an adverse operating environment, which has seen costs escalate even as the business struggles to unlock revenue streams. But you'll recall uh, end of 2020, uh, when we were integrating our two banks, we did have a program where, where we gave a voluntary exit program for staff, those who wanted to leave the organization at that time. Uh, that was end of 2020. Uh, right now, if you look at our cost base, uh, there's no intention of a rationalization program. Uh, yes, staff costs take possibly uh, a, high, uh, a high percentage of our cost base, but there's no intention of a rationalization uh, program going forward. The struggle in Tanzania notwithstanding, the earnings excited the market, albeit marginally, with the bank's share price closing Monday's trading session at 28 shillings and 85 cents compared to Friday's closing price. The group announced a 7.8 billion shillings in net profit for the period under review with significant gains realized from growth in income from foreign exchange trading and steady growth in the loan book buoyed by digital lending. Brian Giordottino, NTV, Nairobi.